Right. I'm in a lot of play website and I have searched for some uh, popular animations that were available right now. And I landed on this popular page right now, which is currently showing some Pride Month related animations. I'm going to go ahead and choose this uh, animation because I want to kind of integrate it into my website, embed it basically. I'm going to go ahead and click on this HTML here. When you click on HTML here, you can actually see that it gives you a direct live preview here. This is hosted on Lottie directly, so you don't have to host it anywhere and it loads super quickly. You can have a play mode, which you can play with bounce or normal. You can see that it will change the style of the animation here. You can say normal here. And if you want to have it like a backward way, this is how it would play, right? So you can go ahead, press play again, and it would play back. Say normal and this. Background color basically allows you to add any kind of background color in the background, uh, literally, right? You can, It can meld into your background. If you don't want to have any, you just need to click on delete and type in transparent. And it removes away the background color here. I do not want my uh, player to have any controls because I don't want my users to select anything. But if you do want to have them, then you can leave them on. You can have an autoplay option. That means that when the browser is loading with your website, it loads the animation directly. Or if you want to have a loop that is, you know, like a GIF, it keeps going on and on, you could do that as well. And then this is how the whole animation is set up. Now, what if you want to change a few colors of this animation? It's a free animation, so you could go ahead and change it. A paid one would not have these options, or you would have to pay somebody to get the license before you actually host them. To do that, all you need to do is going to go ahead, click on Edit Layer Colors. You enter into the Lottie Editor, where you can change the layer colors here. For example, if I feel that I want to change this purple color into, say, a green, right? I'm going to go click here, and I'm going to say Update. It takes a moment and you would actually see that this particular color has changed. If you want to remove it and you want to go back to the old color, click on history and say that you just want to go back to this. And it will kind of get back to that particular color. Right? So this is how you can actually set up your basic color and loader up, up and ready. And then you can click on the lot URL here. It will go ahead, update it and kind of give you this particular code. Now let's go ahead, let's say update. And you can copy this source here and get this back here, right? Now let's get this lot of URL, copy this, and click on the Lottie web player that you had earlier and paste it here. For the color, if you have an updated color, all you need to do is get it and paste it here. And that's about it. Copy this code here and come to card where I have a website set up with certain information already. I'm going to click on the air container that I want to embed it and click on this plus and say embed. It's come and sit here, so I'm going to drag it and drop it here and say lot card. I'm going to paste it and it would sit there. I'm going to say save and publish changes. Let's view this. The animation has come exactly as how we wanted it. If you want to change the size, now we can go ahead and change it right here. You can go ahead, click on the Lottie editor, not this one, this one, and say that we want to have probably double the size. I'm going to say 600 by 600. Copy this. You can see that the width and height has been updated. So you can just go ahead, click on this code, and change the width and height to 600. You can now 
notice that the animation and the size box has increased and because I had some design constraints, it has come and become much bigger and it has set itself at the bottom. It has become bigger, right? This is how the difference between the sizes can also be adjusted. I hope you found this tutorial quickly and easily on how to actually add animations to not just card, you can add them to any particular scenario or any uh, web builder out there by just using Glotty files.